is the Canon M50 with a speed booster, a budget full frame alternative. To answer this question, I'm going to try the Canon M50 with a speed booster and the 50mm 1.8 the nifty 50 then i'm gonna use the same lens with the canon EOS r with the adapter of course and we're going to take a look at the field of view the shallow depth of field and the overall quality just after the intro What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not, just hit the like button. Let's jump immediately into the topic of today's video, which is, is the Canon M50 with a speed booster a budget full frame alternative? If you get the Canon M50 with the speed booster and the Nifty 50, are we gonna get the same results in terms of field of view, shallow depth of field and overall quality? Just like if we use the Nifty 50 on a Canon EOS R? Well then, let's see. We're gonna try it right away on the Canon M50. One second. So this is the Canon M50 and the Canon 50mm 1.8 with the regular adapter. The Canon M50 is a crop sensor camera and it has a crop of 1.6. So what we see instead of being a 50mm equals to something like 80mm. But I'm talking about just the field of view, not the depth of field. It's like if we take a full frame shot with the 50 millimeters with that depth of field and then crop it that's basically about it let me know in the comments what you think about it and take a look at the links where you can find all my gear including the viltrox adapter and the nifty 50. this is the canon eos r with the canon 50 millimeters 1.8 at 1.8 Now let's see what happens when I use the Canon M50 with the Canon 50mm 1.8 and the speed booster. Let's check it out. And this is the Canon M50 with the Canon 50mm 1.8 and the speed booster, the Viltrox speed booster. As you have already noticed, you can see a little bit more because when you use the speed booster on the M50 with EF lenses, not EFS, only EF lenses, whatever focal length has been multiplied times 1.6 because of the crop factor of the M50. So in this case, what we get is a 50 millimeters with a 1.6 crop that becomes and 80 millimeters and with the speed booster you multiply that 80 times 0 0.71 and we get a 56 or something something like that 56 millimeters more or less and right now I'm using the same settings that I was using with the regular adapter now I'm gonna tell you a peculiarity of the speed booster is that the maximum aperture of this lens which is f1.8 when using the speed booster it goes down to 1.2 let's see it now so this is it the canon m50 with the canon 50 millimeters 1.8 but with a speed booster now open wide at f1.2 So we have to take a look now at the difference in the field of view and I think it's definitely wider than when we use the, the regular adapter but not as wide as a full frame but I believe wide enough. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already.
the Canon EOS R with the RF 35mm 1.8 at 1.8. So what do you think about the Canon M50 with the 50mm and the speed booster? Can we consider it a budget full frame option? Of course there will be difference in quality because when we're talking about the Canon M50 we're talking about a camera that costs one third of the Canon EOS R so of course there are differences but for a budget entry-level camera having the possibility to use a speed booster so that a 50 millimeters will look like more a real 50 millimeters and even the aperture will go down for example on the nifty 50 from f 1.8 all the way to f 1.2 i mean having a camera that gives you this possibility to use the speed booster and make the camera become similar to a full frame, it's just great. Well, Canon recently released the M50 Mark II and, well, basically, I don't think, we don't think, nobody thinks it's an upgrade. I don't even think it's a new camera for what I have seen from the specs and everything. It's just like the same camera with some features that you might or might not, might not need that could have been easily added through a firmware update, not a whole new camera. Well, in my opinion, this is just a message from Canon. It's like they're targeting a different audience. Instead of focusing on beginner movie makers who want to start filming and making cinematic things or vlogging and stuff like that, it's like if they're targeting more like, I don't know, soccer moms or teenagers or whoever wants to upgrade from a cell phone or a webcam yeah a webcam because instead of providing us with different resolutions like i don't know 4k 60p or 120 frames per second 1080 with dual pixel autofocus or 4k no crop or 4k with dual pixel autofocus instead of the contrast based focus that sucks what have they done? You can shoot vertically. Wait a minute. I can shoot vertically anyway. But they say when you shoot vertically, the video is ready to go vertically. Do you know how long it takes on any software, on the phone, on the laptop, on the iPad, anywhere, to rotate the image? three seconds. Another feature is that if you want to use it for online purposes to stream, it's just a plug and play. Okay, webcam. Hmm. So instead of focusing on beginner filmmakers and enthusiasts on a low budget, they decided to target a different audience offering a very expensive webcam. I mean, what they consider a very expensive webcam. So for me, it's not like that. If I have to advise that camera to anyone, I would just ignore those features because I don't know, I don't need them then if you do, so much the better. But basically nothing changes. Nothing changes from the original M50. They say the autofocus has been improved. Well, there's nothing wrong with the autofocus of the M50 anyway. I mean, again, these are all fixes that could have been made through a firmware upgrade, not a new camera. Nothing against the Canon M50 Mark II, but to me, it looks like they're targeting a different audience rather than us. As long as you have the option to buy the Canon M50 or the Canon M50 Mark II, just get whatever you find for cheaper. And when they will discontinue the Canon M50, the M50 Mark II will be the same camera with some extra useful, not much features. If you never filmed, you want to upgrade from your phone, the M50 is a great option. You can shoot anything with it. It has a little bit of everything in it. A, a taste of the slow motion, 120 frames per second, a taste of the 4K, even though it's heavily cropped and the autofocus sucks in 4K, but you have it. It gives a beginner the option to explore all those settings and features 
and figure out if that's enough for them or to figure out what they actually need or what they will need as an upgrade. So again, the M50 Mark II, in my opinion, is not a bad camera. It's just been marketed very badly. In my opinion, they're just targeting a different kind of consumers. Again, leave a comment down below or let me know what you think about it and what you think of the Canon M50 with a speed booster. How does it stand near the Canon EOS R? Is the difference in quality brutal? like huge or do you think it's decent enough i mean in my opinion and for youtube videos the m50 with the speed booster is just awesome all right so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video